The knee is a vital and complex structure that plays an essential role in movement. The knee is a hinge synovial joint. This is the right femur, tibia, fibula, and patella. There are several important ligaments that connect and stabilize the femur, tibia, and fibula to maintain normal joint function. The two collateral ligaments stabilize the joint in the coronal plane. This is the medial collateral ligament, or MCL. It connects the medial epicondyle of the femur to the medial condyle and surface of the tibia. This is the lateral collateral ligament, or LCL. It connects the lateral epicondyle of the femur to the head of the fibula. The collateral ligaments are taut when the knee is in full extension and slacken during flexion. The two cruciate ligaments crisscross within the joint capsule, stabilizing the joint in the sagittal plane. This is the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL. It connects the anterior intercondylar area of the tibia to the posterior medial surface of the lateral condyle of the femur. The ACL prevents posterior displacement of the femur on the tibia and hyperextension of the knee joint. This is the posterior cruciate ligament, or PCL. It connects the posterior intercondylar area of the tibia to the anterolateral surface of the medial condyle of the femur. The PCL prevents anterior displacement of the femur on the tibia and hyperflexion of the knee joint. Portions of both ligaments are taut in every joint position. Knee function can be impaired if the knee is hyperextended or hyperflexed. It is common to tear ligaments during activities that place pressure on the knees and involve twisting or cutting motions. There are several tests that are used to diagnose injury to the knee ligaments. The anterior drawer test. The anterior drawer test is used to determine the integrity of the ACL in the knee. To perform the test, the patient lies supine with the hip flexed 45 degrees, the knee flexed 90 degrees, and the hamstrings relaxed. The examiner sits on the foot of the patient's involved leg for stability and grasps the proximal tibia with both hands just below the joint line of the knee. The tibia is drawn anterior on the femur. A positive test is greater than 5 mm of anterior tibial translation or a soft end feel. This may indicate a rupture of the ACL. The posterior drawer test. The posterior drawer test 
is used to determine the integrity of the PCL in the knee. To perform the test, the patient lies supine with the hip flexed 45 degrees, the knee flexed 90 degrees, and the hamstrings relaxed. The examiner sits on the foot of the patient's involved leg for stability and grasps the proximal tibia with both hands just below the joint line of the knee. A firm posterior force is applied to the anterior aspect of the tibia. A positive test is indicated by lack of a firm end feel or excessive translation in the posterior direction compared to the non-involved side. This may indicate a rupture of the PCL. The valgus stress test. The valgus stress test is used to assess the integrity of the MCL in the knee. The patient lies supine with the legs relaxed, the hip abducted, and the knee flexed 20 to 30 degrees. The examiner places one hand over the lateral joint line of the knee and the other hand on the medial aspect of the ankle. A valgus force pushing away from the midline is applied through the ankle in the same plane as the ligament. Some gapping is normal, but pain or excessive gapping is a sign of a positive test. This indicates injury to the MCL. The varus stress test. The varus stress test is used to assess damage to the LCL in the knee. The patient lies supine with the leg relaxed the hip abducted, and the knee flexed 20 to 30 degrees. The examiner places one hand over the medial joint line of the knee and the other hand on the lateral aspect of the ankle. A varus force pushing towards the midline is applied through the ankle in the same plane as a ligament. Some gapping is normal, but pain or excessive gapping is a sign of a positive test. This indicates injury to the LCL.